Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam shows you how to copy files from a playlist to a folder on your USB or flash drive. What? Why would you even want to do this? Adam explains. Okay, I realize you probably have no idea what in the world I'm talking about. Uh, I will admit this is an advanced topic. Uh, I'm going to try to go into details about this, but it's probably putting the the horse before the or the cart before the horse, uh, whatever that expression is. Uh, anyway, um, in future videos, I will actually dissect this a little bit more, but I just want to get this video out here uh, so that way I myself can reference this um, from a year from now when I forget exactly how I set this up. Okay, so here's the problem. I have the Galaxy S3, uh, fantastic phone, and I went ahead and bought uh, a pretty big memory stick um, and didn't go with the 64 gigs or whatever, the, the internal storage. Well, uh, for whatever reason, Samsung does a horrible job uh, mounting this. It doesn't mount like a normal uh, SD card for most Android devices. And what happens in Linux, Linux gets uh, confused, even Windows. Um, uh, basically, it's not a great situation, and copying music is a real pain in the butt. So, uh, in order to find a workaround for this, um, uh, I'm going to explain uh, how I found a workaround to quickly uh, get my music uh, onto my SD card. Um, um, I do have a card reader, so you will need a card reader to do this. Um, and also, this is great if you want to extract files and just put specific files uh, on a flash drive or a specific folder. So uh, this uh, has many applications, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so here's the problem. Um, basically, if I'm going to go down into my music folder, but uh, as you can see, I have lots and lots of music. In fact, I have um, a little over 30 gigabytes worth of music. And uh, honestly, I don't want all of this music on my SD card. So I just want my favorites. So uh, I'm just going to open a Banshee here. And you can see I have uh, my favorites. This is a, a smart playlist. Basically, anything that has four stars or higher uh, gets saved into this playlist. And it's dynamic. It automatically, um, you know, if I change something around, it immediately gets updated uh, based upon the rating of each of my songs. So this is what I consider my favorite music, and this is what I want to actually get onto my phone. So uh, with my other Android device, all I had to do was plug it in, and uh, I was able to just sync a specific uh, playlist to my phone. However, be, as I alluded to, the way Samsung deals with all of this, um, it's not uh, nearly as straightforward. So I do have a workaround, and again, this is great for just extracting specific files uh, to any folder that you particularly want. So in order for this to work, uh, you will need to um, basically create a, uh, a playlist of some sort, or at least this is uh, what I'm going to do. Um, you can use uh, Banshee, you can use Rhythmbox, uh, whatever, uh, Audacious, whatever you want. Uh, I choose to use Banshee um, because this is a dynamic playlist and uh, this works the best uh, for my particular needs. So um, what we need to do is we need to export out the playlist to a particular file. Um, so I'm going to just save it uh, in my temporary folder here. Um, and I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to call this faves and just export that out. Now what we'll want to do is we'll want to look at that file. So I'm going to navigate to that particular file. And instead of opening this with the music player, I'm actually going to open this up with gedit or a text editor. And let me maximize this. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of uh, information um, about where all of my data is actually stored, right? I have um, the path right here of where that file is. So if I could somehow uh, create a program that uh, basically looks at all of these files and extracts out um, uh, this folder and then we'll copy this file to a particular folder, then I could get all of this music into one nice folder. And that's what we're about to do. Hopefully this will make more sense as we continue of what exactly is going on. And as I've said, this has many applications. So um, uh, once you learn how to do this, uh, you can do this for many things. Now I will admit this is probably not the most elegant way of doing this. There are some uh, steps involved that could probably be cleaned up with a script. However, uh, again, this is just in progress for me. I've gotten it to work, and then later I'll try to refine this. So uh, this may be a little bit rough around the edges, but it works. So uh, what we need to do is um, uh, when we open this up with a text editor, uh, you could see we have a whole bunch of these um, uh, other files and crap. Uh, we we want to clean that up. So the best way to do that is 
open up your terminal and then navigate to the folder of where you saved uh, this uh, m3u file. So I'm going to change the directory to my temp. I'm going to list that out. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to clean up uh, the file so I only have the path um, on each line. So in order to do that, uh, I have to do something called grep, which will basically search uh, this file. Um, so I have to name what I want to search for, mp3. And then I am going to say which file. So this is going to be the faves uh, m3u. And then I'm going to output this to a new text file. So I'm going to call this final.txt. And this will make sense once we do it. So we click enter. OK, we're done for the terminal for a second. So you can close that. And then we can open up the final.txt. And as you can see, let me maximize this again. Now we have a list of all of the paths to all of our favorite MP3s. So uh, this is uh, pretty, pretty nice. So now what I want to do is I want to clean up this path a little better. This dot dot slash data Dropbox where my stuff is stored uh, isn't going to be that helpful. So what we're going to do uh, is um, I'm also going to use an absolute uh, link and not a relative link. Um, uh, I won't go into the differences uh, for this video, but um, basically what we need to do is we are going to uh, replace and what I am going to do is I'm going to replace this dot oops, dot dot slash, and I want to replace it with um, my uh, path. So uh, in order to find that, I'm just going to open this up real quick. Um, and basically, I want to replace this with uh, uh, sl uh, root uh, home slash Adam. So I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put another slash here. And then uh, I'm going to say find first okay it found exactly what I want and then replace all so now I can close that and now you can see I have an absolute link to um, this particular file so for example if I open this up and I navigate to this it immediately navigates to that folder so I know that that absolute link is going exactly where I want it to go so that's very important so I'm going to save this now what will happen is this will copy um, all, how many lines are there, 100 and, uh, 1008 files into a particular folder. Um, for this demo, uh, I don't want to, to, for that to take uh, quite this long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select 10. Now if you wanted all of these done, um, you would obviously just leave this. If you had more, great, fantastic. Um, so I'm just going to clean this up only just because I don't want to copy all of these files to a particular folder because this is after all just a demo but you would just leave your uh, paths the way they are and I'm actually going to just make 12 so that's good for me I save it and then we go on to the next step so now what we need to do is we need to go through this final.txt file and essentially what we are going to do is we are going to look at this line by line by line and uh, uh, copy each um, of these things line by line so uh, remember in uh, past videos I went over the copy command so it, uh, basically if I wanted to copy um, this uh, particular path I could do home uh, Adam data basically I could drill down and say copy this mp3 and paste it into uh, another uh, folder well um, this this command that I'm about to show you basically allows you to go through this file and just go through line by line by line to automate this so um, the actual uh, code is going to look something like this um, if you want um, we will man out uh, xargs real quick that way you can get more information on that uh, if you so choose um, but the a option basically allows us to read items from a file um, which is exactly what we want to do. And then um, the next part of this code um, says for each line, uh, basically take this first line and then copy it with these options into this folder. Take the next line, copy that into this folder. So um, it'll make sense once we run it. So we do need to, to clean this up. The first thing we need to do is we need to actually navigate to where our text file is. Because right now um, I'm not where that, that final text file is. So uh, we are going to change directory. For me it's going to be in temp because that's what I'm working out of. And then now you can see we've got the final.txt. So now um, I can uh, 
run this and instead of test because that's what I was doing earlier we need to do the final and we need to copy to uh, in this case um, if we had uh, a media um, so for example in Ubuntu most USB and flash drives are actually uh, located here once they're mounted uh, you can see I have nothing and that's just because um, I have nothing attached so for me I'm just going to work out of my temporary folder uh, if you actually had media you would actually change this path basically this path needs to be wherever you want to copy into so uh, this is actually going to produce an error uh, which I'm doing that on purpose I just want to show you so uh, when we say enter now it says um, no file or directory and the reason for that is because I don't have a music folder so if I want to do that I actually have to create a music folder in my temporary directory now when I run it it should work exactly as expected and basically it just um, took each path and copied it into my music folder so now here's my new music folder um, I have all of my mp3s uh, this can be used with videos um, this can be used uh, in many many situations uh, pictures uh, and this is uh, fantastic I mean let me just bring up my um, all my music um, I mean I was basically able to go through uh, 3,000 songs and extract the 12 that I really wanted, um, which is just shows you some of the power of scripting and Linux, and uh, what a great way to solve my issue with getting uh, music onto my phone. Um, the only disadvantage is it doesn't have the nice hierarchy. Uh, like this had the artist, and then it and then it goes down to the album name. Um, unfortunately, uh, this script doesn't do that. Um, I may refine that in the future. But honestly, for what I was using this for, this is exactly what I needed anyway. Because I just keep everything on my phone in, in something called music, and then I just have all my files in my music folder anyway on my SD card. So for me, this works uh, uh, just fine, and I've not had a real reason to to modify and figure that other step of putting it in a better hierarchy. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can see the the, the power of, of, of setting this up um, and hopefully you too can find a, an application or, or a way to, to uh, quickly uh, go through files and um, get and extract uh, the ones you want. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, sorry if I went through this kind of quick. Um, in the future, uh, maybe we'll dissect some of the commands a little bit better. But uh, I just wanted to get this video out here because uh, it really, really helped me once I figured this out. Uh, hopefully it'll help you as well. And um, uh, and then that way, uh, from, from a year from now, if I need to recopy my music over to my SD card, I remember uh, how to do this because I can just reference my own video. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com. And thanks for watching.